This yeah, video is sponsored by Raid Shadow. Wait, we don't have a sponsor? There's no, there's no sponsor in this video? Okay. Hey guys, we're about to test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at how to recreate the GameCube logo in a motion graphic kind of format. So, let's get started. I want to go ahead and delete everything in the scene. So, we'll go ahead and drag a box over top of everything except for our camera. Hit delete and then grab our camera. Hit Alt G, Alt R to clear the location and the rotation. Hit R X, and then on your numpad, hit 9 0 to rotate it on the X axis 90 degrees. Um, left click to confirm that. And if it didn't rotate, make sure num lock is on because sometimes it's off um, up at the top of the numbers on the right hand side. Hit G Y to move this camera back behind the. Not behind the grid. I, met, oh, I missed the days when there was a grid. Now there's no grid and it's all grid. So I can't say back behind the grid. Uh, that Man, I remember those days. That was a long time ago. Wow. Um, anyway, go ahead and hit, uh, hit shift A and we'll search for a mesh uh, cylinder. Now the cylinder, before we do anything else with the cylinder, before we do anything, before we click anywhere, down at the bottom left, it says add cylinder. Open that up and change the amount of vertices all the way down. Wait, no. All the way down to six. There you go. Looking good, looking good. Now, with this done, we only need the top face, so we'll hit tab to go into edit mode. Go to face select mode. Select all the faces. Hold down shift to select more than one face, except for the top one. So hold hold on shift, grab, grab all of them except for the top face. Hit delete faces. Hit tab to go back out of edit mode. With this uh, piece still selected, go up to object, set origin, origin to geometry. There you go. And now hit Alt G. So now we have this uh, as like a flat graphic looking thing, which looks really cool. So that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and um, hit R X. Actually, we'll, we'll leave it the way that it is now before we like mess anything up or, 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 or rotate anything. We'll leave it like that for now. We'll leave it like facing downwards. Um, now, what we need to do now is I'm at seven on my numpad. And what I want to do is I want to hit Shift D to duplicate this before we do anything before we mess it up. I'll hit... Um, M to, to move it to a new collection. We'll uh, hit new collection and we'll hit backups. Yeah, hit OK. And then we'll just hit G to move it all way over here. And then we can just uh, turn the eyeball off and the render off of both of these. Just uncheck it in general. Um, actually, but unchecking it. Yeah, we just uncheck it in general. Um, cool. So now that's just a backup just in case we mess this version up. We need we have another version of the cylinder where we can uh, use it and it's not broken. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift D, duplicate this one more time. Right click to cancel the movement. And we'll go, we'll go ahead and uh, kind of scale this inwards a little bit because the GameCube logo obviously has a little piece in the center where the things are cut out. So we'll use it like that. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and hit tab to go into edit mode. Hit A to select this and then E to extrude it upwards like that. And then tab to go back out of edit mode. Hit G to move it down so it's like colliding with the uh, cylinder. Now before we do anything else, 7 to go back into the... Um, front facing uh, top facing view sorry um we need to go ahead and make sure that this piece is not going to cut out the entire middle section i only wanted to cut out um the the this the just this piece so what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and with the cylinder selected with the flat cylinder we'll go to uh, modifiers tab hit add modifier we'll go to da, 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 boolean and then select the object which is cylinder two and then we'll go ahead and hit um, this drop down and then apply. Now you can see when I remove this thick cube from the center, hit delete. And then we now have this piece that has been cut out, which looks super cool. Now, what we need to do is I need to go ahead and go to our backups, uncheck that. We can grab this piece once again. And as you can see, this is going to help us out because we need to hit Shift D, duplicate that, right click to cancel the movement, and then hit Alt G to move back to where we started. Now we can move this out of the backups category into the collection, the, the, the main collection. And then we can uncheck backups once again. So we don't need that. We just needed a duplicate because we need to hit, uh, grab this, hit S, and scale it down so we have that little piece in the middle that the GameCube logo has. That's all we needed to do. Literally, that's, that's all we needed to do. Um, so now with this done, I want to go ahead and hit 7 once again to the, go to the top facing view. Now, the GameCube has this little uh, piece that comes across, that comes down um, from this side. Uh, it's like a little, uh, a little uh, connection piece and makes, makes it look like it's a G. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, Shift A and we'll search for a plane. 
hit S to scale this bad boy down. And we'll go ahead and kind of match, hit, hit, uh, hit GX, sorry, to move it over to this piece. So we'll kind of match the thickness by, hit, by hitting S and just scaling it down and moving it around um, GX to move it over on the X-axis, hit S to scale it up. Just trying to match the basic kind of shape of, um, of said, said uh, uh, sizing. So now with that done, I'm going to go ahead and move this left-hand corner up to the top of this corner right there. Um, and then we'll hit tab to go into edit mode. I'll go to uh, vertice select mode on the top left here. We'll hold down, click and drag. And we'll, we'll grab these two vertices on the right-hand side, and that's it. We don't want to grab these two vertices, just the two on the right-hand side. Hit G, X, sorry, hit G, Y, sorry, to move this up to the top up here like this. So we'll just zoom in, scroll wheel in. And you can see we move it up, oh, hit GY, move it up to the top there. As you can see, um, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the angle right. So obviously what I'm doing is I want to extend this out now. So we'll go ahead and grab these two vertices, hit G, and then double tap. Actually, wait, is it, it's not going to let me do it like that. So we need to go ahead and just basically um, extend this out so that it is um, completely straight with the... Uh, the, the edge here. So what we're going to do is we're just, I'm going to hit G and we'll just move it across because we need to connect it to this piece over here. So what we can do is we can turn on magnet mode. So we'll turn snap on and we'll go up here to the top and select vertice. And as you can see, if I hit G to move this over, we can just snap it to that um, corner piece, which is very cool. We do the same thing with this. We we'll just grab these two vertices, hit G, we can just snap it onto that vertice right there. Nice, super easy. Now there you have it. That is, uh, that's basically all that we have here. Now what I want to do is I actually want to make this a little thicker because it looks a little thin. So we will grab these two vertices in the bottom and hit G, Z, sorry, G, Y, sorry, and move them down a little bit just so it's a little tiny bit thicker. There we go. Um, now we have uh, something that resembles the GameCube logo, other than the fact that this piece up at the top needs to be cut out still. So I'll go ahead, grab this little piece right here that we just created. Hit Shift D, duplicate that. Hit G Y to move it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit G to move this down and grab that corner right there and snap it on. There we go. I'll hit um, Tab to go into edit mode. Grab these two vertices right here, and then move them. Oop, hit G Y to move them down um, about right there. That's kind of the same thickness um, of this uh, this little empty space right here. That's what we need. I'll go ahead and hit Tab, go back into edit mode. Double tap A, make sure everything's selected. Hit E to extrude this upwards. Hit tab to go back out of edit mode. G, Z to move it down so it collides with this little piece. And we'll go ahead and hit uh, with, with the with the main, like, whatever shape this is, <laughs> um, selected. We'll hit add modifier. Once again, Boolean. We'll grab this piece so we know it's called. We'll name this break away. Yeah, sure. Um, we'll go back to the cylinder shape, change the object to break away, and then we'll hit um, this little drop down, hit apply, then we can grab that little piece, hit delete, and now you can see we have that little piece chopped out. Now, this little piece right here is glitching because they're colliding with each other, obviously. So what I want to do is I want to hold down, um, I want to grab this, this piece right here, the main cylinder, once again, add a modifier, we can go to boolean. And then we can just grab this piece, make sure we know what it's called. It's called plane. I'll call it add. Nice. Go back to the cylinder. Hit union. Change the object to add. And as you can see, it will add it if we go ahead and right click, apply. Sorry, uh, drop down, hit the drop down and apply. We can grab that single piece, hit delete. And now it is all together, which looks good. We can do the same thing once again with this piece right here. So grab this whole piece, add modifier, boolean, union, object, Select cylinder two, drop down, apply, select the, the uh, single piece, delete, and now it's all one big piece. Nice. So ladies and gentlemen, we have just created the GameCube logo. Now, um, I want to keep it very simple. It's like a just a rec recreation of the most simple basic GameCube logo you can imagine. Um, obviously, there's other 3D ones. There's ones with shading. There's one with this and that. But I really want to keep it super simple for today. Um, but I, but what I will do is we'll go ahead and rotate this and animate a little bit. So hit RX, um, 90 to rotate on the 90, 90 degrees on the X axis. We can go ahead and right click, uh, sorry, left click to confirm that. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and hit um, one to go to the front facing view, sorry, zero to go into the camera's view. 
Now we have the GameCube logo here. Looks cool. Now, GameCube has a very specific color purple that the console was, the original one. I had the silver one, so. Um, but we'll go to the colors. We'll grab the, the GameCube logo here. Hit new. Principal BSDF. Change to emission. And now we have that being emitting, uh, emitting light. So go to render, render viewport shading up the top. You can see that that is now emission, but it's not solid white. So we'll go to the main tab, go to color management, change it from filmic to standard. Now it's white. We can go to the world tab here and we can grab the this uh, purple color that the Nintendo GameCube, the original one, always was. It's a very specific color purple. It's like... It's almost like like this color right here. Like it's a very specific color. I can probably actually search it up real quick. Um, so let's go GameCube um, color purple. <laughs> so let's come type in, in the print song. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's see. What is the color of the purple GameCube? It says it's, it's indigo. It says it's indigo. So yeah, it's a very specific color. Um, it's a very specific color of purple. And so somebody have the hex, the actual hex. Um, somebody does have the actual hex. Very cool. Um, GameCube, Nintendo GameCube purple. Nice. So this is apparently the exact hex value of the GameCube. Looks very cool to me. Ladies and gentlemen, that is um, that is the per it looks a little, little little dark, but it's all right. It's close enough, close enough, close enough. Now I do want to animate this. Um, so we have some purple for for prints. We have the color purple. We have a lot of we have a, 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 a sad film. We have a man who liked purple a lot. We have a lot of things about purple. Okay, we got Barney here. There's a lot of things going on. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually um, go to the start frame and change it to zero. I will go ahead and grab our GameCube logo. And what I want to do is I want to kind of rotate them and move them up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and on, actually I'll go to the main tab here. Sorry, the second main tab. Um, the scene tab, the output tab. Change the frame rate to 60. And then we can go ahead and start animating. I want to go on the 30th frame. I hit I, location, I, rotation. Now, on zero, I'm going to hit G, Z and move it down like this. And also hit R, Z, 90. RZ90. Left click to confirm that and then hit I rotation, I location. Now when we play this, you can see that it comes up, it rotates and comes up, which looks really cool. So it looks like it kind of just like appears, which is cool, right? And then I'm gonna have it go up a little bit. So actually on frame 30, I'm gonna have it go down a little bit so it's not fully in the center. I location. Then on frame like maybe 90, yeah, sure. We'll have it move up slightly. So about right there, I location. And then um, on frame 120, I move it up quite a bit more like that. Hit I location and then hit R Z negative 90 and left click and then hit I rotation. Nice. So now we play it, it looks like this comes up. There we go. Nice. But what we didn't do was we didn't set the rotation for the 90th keyframe. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit uh, we'll grab the 30 frame, hit shift D, duplicate that to the 90 and then we'll just move this up. Like manually and then i uh location that's my fault there we go nice when we play this now you can see that it doesn't rotate and then it there we go that's what i want so then i'll end it off i'll change the end frame to 130 and then we can play this turn my overlays off you can see that it uh, rotates come out comes out of nowhere goes out and then it kind of loops which is very cool so it's like a loading animation for the nintendo gamecube just a very super simple motion graphic um Super, super, super simple motion graphic uh, tutorial that that involves the GameCube in some shape or form. Um, but yes, I will uh, see you guys and girls in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Very super simple motion graphic tutorial. I love motion graphics. You guys have been loving them, so we're, we're popping out more of them, more motion graphic tutorials in the, in very soon. I'm also going to be doing some 2D animation tutorials very soon as well, so keep your eye open for those if you're interested in some 2D animation. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, but until then... Bye-bye.